So I already finished my face. I really wanted to focus only on the eyes today. So I'm applying my MAC Paint Jelly Paint Pot. And this is just going to help with the longevity of your eyeshadows. This also really helps in making them blend better rather than just applying it right on your lid without adding a primer. You do have to set this with any kind of powder you use. I will be setting it with our Mercier powder. And I'm going to be using this Real Techniques powder brush, sorry, setting brush. So I did need my um, under eye setting powder. Just in case I get any fallout, I can just dust it off. So for this look, I will be using the Chocolate Bar Palette by Too Faced and the Rainforest of the Sea Palette by Tarte. So I'm starting off with Salted Caramel as my transition shade. I'm just applying this all over my lid. So I'm going to go in with Milk Chocolate from the palette. And I'm using my Rosita Beauty by Rosita Blended Brush. So I'm just going to apply this right on the crease. I'm going to try to keep this on my outer crease. So I'm going to go in with Milk Chocolate from the Chocolate Bar Palette using my Beauty by Rosita Blended Brush. And I'm going to keep this on my outer crease. So for this look, I really wanted to just keep it very bronzy and glowy. So I'm not going to go in heavy on the eyes. So now I'm going to go in with Cove from the Rainforest of the Sea palette. And this is just a very light brown, kind of like milk chocolate, but I feel like it's a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. I'm going to bring that all the way into my inner corner. So I'm not trying to be precise with this color at all because I am going to be applying a shimmery shade all over the lid. I feel like my eyes are so swollen. We were watching the movie Room. It's so sad. It's really so sad. I was crying throughout the whole movie. If you're a parent, I feel like you're, you'll cry, you know? <laughs> like for anybody, I feel like you'll be sad, but... If you're a parent, you will cry. Your eyes out. Going more with code, just to deepen it up just a little bit more on the side. Okay. take this flat Morphe brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Mermaid. This is a light brown but it's very sparkly. So far I'm really loving this. Oh yes. Now I'm going to go in with a darker shade and this is called Starfish and I just flipped the brush over and I'm going to apply this on the outer corner and on the inner corner.
I'm going to take this darker shade called Reef and I'm only going to apply this on the outer corner. Just a little bit. By the way, I'm going to blend this out. I'm just applying the colors. Please excuse my baby hairs. After breastfeeding my daughter, actually when I started breastfeeding, after I gave birth, I lost all of my hair from the front. Literally, like, my forehead was back here. <laughs> so now these are all my baby hairs going in. So, kind of proud of them. Actually, I am proud of them. So, I'm gonna go back in with this. Remember, out of the corner. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking my Sigma 40 and I'm just going to blend all of this out. So this E40 has absolutely no color on it. Absolutely. So, so far I do really like these colors. They're so pretty. I just wish I could use them all. I go back to this matte shade. This is cold. Just gonna bring this all over my lid. So now I'm just gonna curl my lashes at falsies and I'll be right. So this is the final look. I did add a little bit of milk chocolate and semi-sweet from the chocolate bar palette to my lower lash line just to give it a little more oomph. And I did apply a little bit of mascara and my lashes, that's all I did. Oh, and my lips. <laughs> I'm wearing, um, so on my lips I'm wearing Lolita and NARS Super Vixen. This really pretty lip gloss. It has a little bit of a, a lot of glitter in it, but after a while you can't really see it. So let's get into the palette. So the packaging is just beautiful. This is what the palette looks like. And it comes in this pretty little box. It has like an ombre effect going on here. It's really pretty. And when you open it up, it does have a mirror. And that is what it looks like. So it comes with eight different shades. Two of them are matte and the rest are all shimmery shades. They are all neutral colors, but they are so pretty, like, they're really pretty. <laughs> so this palette was a VIP Rouge exclusive on Sephora. So it will be out February 29th, which is today. It should be, should be up today. <laughs> so I will be swatching these for you guys in case you guys are interested in getting it. It's, it's a beautiful palette, honestly, for 35 I think it's like 30 something dollars. It's worth it, totally worth it. So let's get on to the swatching. So this is a starfish. <sighs> Not even. This is a reef. See how pigmented they are? This is this. Yes. Uh, this is wave. It's so pretty. <laughs> this is Seashell. This is my hands running out of fingers. So, so if you guys have a little baby at home and are looking for new wipes, these wipes are awesome. These are from Burt's Bees. These are like five dollars. They are fragrance free. They are chlorine free. Very important. They are fragrance free and look, look, look. But it's free. <laughs> However, you pronounce that shit. It is free. Not the product, but it's whatever that name is free. Okay? So good. So this just took off the eyeshadows I had on my fingers. So let's continue to these swatches. So this is Mermaid. They're just so freaking pretty. 
This is Sand and this is one of the matte shades. This is Cove and this is another one of the matte shades. Even this pink shade, which pink sometimes isn't as pigmented as any other shades. And that is the seashell. As you can see, it's so pigmented. It's right here. So those are all the shades in the palette. I personally think it's worth it. The formula is awesome. The shadows are so pigmented. They're so easy to work with, like I said already. So yeah, I hope you guys like these kind of videos. I do want to do another one of these with the Manny MUA palette, which I should be getting on Tuesday, and I'm so excited. You have no idea. I was waiting since like December when he announced it. Was it December or like late November? Don't remember. I don't remember but it's been quite a while so that should be up uh, probably by Thursday because I know he's going to be releasing them again this week so I want to get it up before so you guys can actually see the shadows I know there's like a lot of videos out already but what's one more right <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys on my next one